What is going on? Long time no see. I am actually out here in the garage right now. We have the RTR Spec 5 10th anniversary out in the driveway, and I just now got my cat skin leather seats. I'm gonna have it done at a place locally here, but I'm gonna remove the seats out of the car real quick, take the skins off that way when I drop it off, it's a quick turnaround. So we're gonna hop out there, rip these seats out, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> All right, I actually really love these Recaros. Um, I really, really love them. My only problem right now is I have all this speckling here because when the car was getting buffed, uh, the tape that was up here fell. So a bunch of the stuff flew in here, all the uh, Meguiar's compounds and stuff. So that is... Uh, not great so that'll be one thing that we're going to be getting rid of but we will still have the blue stitch in here because we have it in the tunnel we have it here on the dash it's a little bit everywhere so we still will be keeping that so i have these little covers right here that i popped off they cover the bolts that hold it in place i use this gear wrench pick to get up in there and pop that off and then i'm going to take this and uh, get it off what is this this looks like it's a t55 i actually think it's a t60 that you need but this will work same here in the back take the little pick pop that off there's our t55 66 pull these two off and the seat will come out underneath the seat you're gonna have these two sensors here that you need to unplug don't really know what they're for i think uh, at least one of them's for airbag the other one might be to just i don't I don't know. I'm not even going to pretend that I know because these aren't power. So one of them for sure is airbag though. Well, in case you ever wanted to know, this is the innards of the Recaro seat. So you can see your foam here. The base sits in here. There's like an elastic piece that goes underneath. It's Velcro. I have it sitting over there with a the new seat cover already on it. But this is the Recaro back flipped inside out. So you have these channels here that interlock in the back instead of having like a zipper. This piece here will hook onto a piece of metal that's on the back of the seat. Right here is kind of interesting. This here is for your airbag. So this section here is what wraps around your airbag. Part of this is attached via a channel on some metal, but the other part right here, there's two nuts that go onto bolts that are studded into the airbag itself, and that holds it on. So you have to remove those from the inside. This section right here, you can see you have some holes there where the leather hooks in to the plastics. So where are the plastics? I have those right back here. This here will then slide out with your seat. This right here is where your leather hooks into. So you can see the little hooks right there. That's where the leather itself will hook into. And then these pieces here snap into place inside of there to hold it back and then that is where you put your harnesses and whatnot. So you can see here, you have two snaps here, another here, and then these pieces here that go down into this plastic. That was very sketchy and felt the entire time like something was gonna break. So that didn't feel great, but we did get it off and it wasn't as horrible as what I thought it was gonna be. But here's your Ricardo leather taken fully apart. Took the seats by all out off-road in Texas today, spring Texas to be exact. Got these seats done. They did a fantastic job. Some places may have issues with this and you'll see wrinkling over here in the corners, especially on these Recaros, but they did a very, very good job. So we got to put the base in here, but if we go over to the car, Nate is inside right now, bolting down the passenger side. How's it going in here, bud? Pretty good. Okay, awesome, thanks. Love that high energy, keep it going. Yeah. Nate's in here getting the finishing touches on the seats. We got the passenger side in, driver's side is going in right now. These things are actually really comfortable. I'm liking them a lot. Light in your eyeball! <laughs> Light in your eyeball! <laughs> so the other day we filmed putting the seats in, but I never actually showed the finished product. So just got back from Cars and Coffee. We'll pop this thing open and show you real quick. Well, here they are. These are the new seats that we have here. This is a cat skin leather. If you see, we have the gray inserts here and then the RTR logo debossed in the backrest. Some people will go get their own done and they'll have it stitched. All the RTR seats are going to be debossed though. I do believe in our first 
and second Rangers that we built for SEMA 2019, it was stitched in here, but I don't believe any of those actually made it to production. So all of those are gonna be debossed on any of the Mustang, Ranger, F-150. The other thing that you'll notice is we have this blue stitch here. This stitch was made to match the accent color that all of the customers chose on their 10th anniversaries. As I said earlier, you can see here in the center where I have the blue stitch already from Ford all throughout the vehicle along the dash here. But I actually didn't go with that color on the outside of the car. That was my original plan. And then I changed it up a little bit and went with this yellow, which I think really pops. But then now for me, at least I feel it kind of gives that Lambo feel to the Mustang because you have the different accent colors. And then as you can see there, we have our half cage in here from Watson Racing, which really stiffens this car up. But that's not what this video is about. It's about these seats. And I think they actually turned out really, really good. They're very comfortable. I know they were in the F-150 and we previously had put them into the Blue Spec 2 prior to selling that so we could get this one. But I love how this turned out. If there's anything else in specific you guys want to see about this car, let me know. I did all of the install for this 10th anniversary. A lot of the videos are going to be on the RTR Garage page the suspension all the sway bars all that stuff use this car right here as our demo to install for those videos if you guys want to see any of the behind the scenes because i just did like this windshield banner i can do all that stuff on here rtr garage is going to be all the how to's installations and education pieces from rtr vehicles but if you guys want to see any of the behind the scenes stuff or what i do with this vehicle just let me know in the comments below and we can get to it but that's going to wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry that i've been gone for so long i will try and start uploading more frequently until the next one peace